You're listening to What's Hot on NCCU Audio Net. It is What's Hot with Shemai Cook. I am Shemai Cook. Got my guest co-host, Zoria Williams, in the middle. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? And we got a special. I'm good. I'm good. And we got a special guest in the building. She is the Miss Freshman here at the illustrious North Carolina Central University. It is Imani Clitzdale. How you doing, Imani? I'm good. How are you? I am in the number. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm so glad you are here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. No problem. No problem. Let's start off. Let's start off here. First of all, how how how's your uh, semester been going? How how's your year been as uh, the Miss Freshman this year? Um, the beginning, it was a little crazy. Um, you know, obviously coming into school with such a big position, it yeah. was very stressful. Um, having to do games every Friday, go out of town, <sighs> um, host events, do meetings, things like that. But this semester, it slowed down a little bit. So yes. I have a little more time to kind of focus on myself. But overall, it's been a pretty good, pretty good freshman year for me. Got you, got you, got you. What made you want to come to NCCU? Funny story. Okay, so I knew I wanted to go to HBCU. Got gotcha. you. I currently reside in Dallas, Texas. Oh, you're um, a Cowboys fan? No. Oh, <laughs> man. But um, in Dallas, <laughs> there are a few HBCUs. I mean, in Houston area, they just didn't catch my eye. Got gotcha. you. Um, okay. And so I kind of just was looking into schools. Um, I never looked into NCAT, funnily enough. But oh, good. good. I was looking into schools. We and love that for you. I was like, I need a sign. Yeah. And I used to watch this show, P-Valley. I don't know if you heard the uh-huh, show. Yeah, yeah. And one of the actors it? went to the school. Yes. Um. So that was like, okay, you got your sign, girl. You know where to go. I applied, I got in, and then I'm here now. And the rest is history. Why aren't, oh wait, first of all, why aren't you a Cowboys fan? You live in Dallas. I feel like Cowboys fans make me not a Cowboys oh fan. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's people like you that really know, but what is your, you're a Houston, Texas fan or something like that? I don't, I'm not really a football person. Oh, you're not a football person. person. No. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Okay, I thought you just had another team. and you just, <laughs> Okay, I understand. Uh, go ahead. We got, what was, what's your question for that? All right. So what was your reason for running for Miss Freshman? So I remember very early on, like I said, living in Dallas, you don't really get as much exposure to HBCUs. So I really didn't know about Royal Court at mm, first. You know? Okay. And then I went to SOAR, and I remember talking to the current, the Miss Sophomore at the time. And it kind of just opened my eyes to like, wow, this is something that I'd like to do. I'm not really like a big girly girl, but it was something I really wanted to do. Was it Carly that you talked to? The Miss Sophomore? Yeah, she was coming out of being Miss Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay, Carly. And okay. Um, we were just talking, and it kind of gave me like, I've always wanted to be a student leader. So I was kind of like, hmm, I was looking into it. Then when we got to school, I got more information on it, and it was mm. like an instant, like I wanted to do it. Got you, got you. Uh, talk about your relationship with your your council and your court. Uh, I know you're very you're very close with Gabby and you know uh, Miss Miss NCCU. Talk about your relationship with the the rest of the, your uh, committee and your court. So I knew like very early on coming in, a lot of my friends ran. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my closest friends, he ran for class president. Yeah. I'm, I'm, um. And, and he, I, yeah. yeah, he came on the show um, earlier this semester. Yeah, yeah, and um, we ran, and it was kind of like that made us kind of closer. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because it was kind of like we both knew what we wanted before we got here. Gotcha. And we did it. As for the rest of my court coming in, you know, they already knew each other. Mm-hmm. Um, I was kind of new to the party, so when I came in. It was like an instant family. It gotcha. was like everybody loved me. Everybody kind of welcomed me in with open arms. Yeah. They helped me with everything that I needed help with. I love my court a lot. My council, my freshman class council, I love them a lot too. Yes. Um, nothing we do would be possible without them, especially one of the new initiatives that we've implemented. None mm-hmm. of that would have been possible without yeah, them. Yeah, I love that, you know, you guys had that uh, dress for success thing. I think I saw it on one of your Instagram posts. Mm-hmm. You know, you got, uh, you got Hanif as the president. You got... Um, Mackenzie Carmichael as your VP, and then you got Malachi Gridon. How's your as your Mister? How's that? How's your relationship with him? How's um, you know him being your Mister? How's that? Um, in the beginning, everybody knows it's a funny story. In the beginning, it was a little funny because we have two very different personalities. Ah, um, okay. So we would, it would kind of clash a little bit. Ah. But over time, you know what I'm saying. In having to, nobody else under, is going to understand you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The person that you have to be with 24-7. Yeah, understood. And so, over time, it just became this learning opportunity that just because you and somebody have different personalities doesn't mean they always have to clash. Um, Malachi has been a big support system of mine throughout gotcha. this entire thing. Um, and he actually made it easier for me. If it mm. wasn't for him, I feel like I definitely would have had a lot more trouble. So Good, good for you. Go ahead. All right. How much stuff have you done for your class? 
So for our class, we focus mainly on like your first year of college, gotcha. like coming into school and things like that. Um, we had events at the beginning of some of last semester. One was called, I think it was it was rhythm and something, and it was basically where we had people come. Like you know how we have class dances, we have yep. line dancing and stuff. So we taught them line dancing, mm. just people who came onto campus and kind of like. Um, just to have like a bonding experience for the freshman class. Okay. Um, we also had an initiative that we introduced last semester where we had people go t- with us to an elementary school. Um, uh, CC's bowling, right? Yes. Okay. And we would take people, we would go on our own once a week and then we would take people another time a week. And it was for mostly students who had like interest in being teachers or things uh, like that. Okay. But also just for anybody who likes kids, uh, wants to work with okay. kids and things like that. So we would bring them along with us, um, give them community service hours and things like that. We also have been posting videos about, you know, businesses that are on campuses Mm -hmm. and things like that. Like we've been having them come to us and speak with us and interview them just to give them some exposure on campus. So in a short amount of time that we did have to do these things, I'm very glad that we did. And yeah, you know, being being uh, a public figure, I would say, because as a student leader, you are a public figure. How do you balance your personal life to, you know, being a public figure um, and still trying to uphold that title? Oh, um, it was hard. I definitely can say it was hard. I know in the beginning I was very tense because mm-hmm. I, you know, when I heard you have, you are a student leader, everybody's eyes are on you. It kind of stressed me out. Mm-hmm. It was like, dang, like I really have to watch what I do. Mm-hmm. And so it was like in the beginning it was hard. I would overextend myself in my position. Yeah. And it kind of took the me out of me, if that makes sense. I understand. And so it became now, okay, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do this. Rest, recharge. Yeah. And it made me better in my position, actually, because now I don't feel drained. I don't always feel, you know, all those other things. Um, So I can definitely say it's it's an adjustment. It's really an adjustment because a lot of people don't even know, like, how hard it can be sometimes to have eyes on you (sighs) 24-7. Who you telling my gosh! Yeah, Please, I know uh, you have eyes yes. on me twenty four seven. Literally, literally. But I, I, but the thing is, your your title is higher than mine. I'm, real, yeah. I'm not a student leader, so I don't have to worry about you know if I'm end up on fizz or something. That's gonna be you know bad for my. my oh yeah. yeah. Speaking of that, okay. Yeah. Speaking of that, um, it's also been like crazy to see because fizz is such a wild like it's dangerous it's crazy it's dangerous crazy. like it's I, i'm here for it sometimes but it's just <laughs> dangerous it's anonymous yeah so it's like with it being anonymous it makes everything so much like messier like I, election season uh-huh. on fizz like fizz was really kind of where everybody was asking a whole bunch of questions yeah. and getting to know but it was anonymous so you mm-hmm. didn't know who it was and then over time like people would just ask random questions like Oh my gosh like I, th- I think it was something about that man that came on campus and they were like where's royal court and we're like what are we supposed to do about a random man on campus <laughs> <laughs> well okay i did see this on fizz but i know like i know it's not true but like they were trying to make it seem like you and hanif were a thing and that's that's uh, how yeah how yeah. that's a it's not true <laughs> you, you're here to yeah, confirm no, that's not, not true. true it never was true but it's just like Get to know the person. That's yeah. the th- that's the thing. I think people need to uh, need to know like instead of going behind, sit, sit at home on your little keyboard or something like that, and just text and something that you won't say to somebody's face. I think what it is honestly is because when you have it's already bad having male and female friendships because yes. a lot of people are oh going to make gosh. assumptions. Yes. But I think also it was because, you know what I'm saying, constantly having to be around each other. But you have to understand we work together. Yeah. So that was just kind of like us working together. You have to have a bonding relationship. Yes. So that was just, that point in my life was so hilarious to me. And like, that's why now I really hate Fizz. That's <laughs> <laughs> a very strong word. Well, you talk about elections. It is election season. Mm-hmm. Uh, the hot question is, are you running again for Miss Sophomore? I will not be running for Miss Sophomore. Um, I need kind of a year to myself, at least a little bit of time to kind of figure out who I am um, coming into college. I've learned a lot of lessons my freshman year. Um, I kind of just want to grow, you know what I'm saying? Have time to take for myself outside of the spotlight. Okay. Even though, let's be honest, the spotlight is still, you know what It's I'm still going to be on you, yeah. but not as much. It's not, not as, as much, much pressure. Yet. Like, you still could be you, but make sure, like, have in the back of your mind, I'm still somebody. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I just kind of want a year to kind of just explore, do different things that maybe I didn't have time to do last okay. semester or I couldn't. So I'll be taking the year off. Yeah. Okay, as you should, you know, and then focus on your mental health and yeah. well-being. Uh, what's next for you other than, you know, I know you're not running again, but what's next for you? Um, there's a few things that are coming up. Um, some I'd like to, you know, remain oh. where they are until okay. they, you know, are public. But some other things I'm looking into, you know, joining a lot more orgs outside, um, outside, just even like, you know, random things on campus. Like I saw a couple clubs that I was just like, that sounds fun. Yeah. Do that. So just kind of doing things for clubs, um, as well as I've and big in writing. I've been writing Ooh. a book since I was in middle school. Wow. Um, wow. It wasn't it wasn't a good one. The first one wasn't good. But this one now, like I actually have kind of lost touch with that since I've came to school. So okay. kind of just going back to doing things that I find interesting. You know what I'm saying? Things yeah. that suit me. Just basically being a normal student. For gotcha. at least a little bit, yeah. Well, yeah, I understand. I understand Get, getting that break off. Okay, I, I, thank you so much for coming on. Wait, what's your major, by the way? I'm a psychology major. Oh, yeah, you need your rest. Okay, get, <laughs> take your year off. God bless a you. A lot of math. Yeah, a lot of math. Ugh. I'm so glad I'm math con. I don't have to worry about no math. <laughs> but it, uh, thank you so much com uh, for coming on, Imani. Uh, where can everybody follow you on Instagram and all that jazz and any information? You can follow me on Instagram at Imani's Interlude with two E's or on my other account at NCCU Miss Freshman. Um, I would say my TikTok, but I post very weird things on TikTok. Okay. <laughs> all right. We're going to move on from that. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, is what's up? What's your mind cook? The hot question of the day is next. <laughs> You're listening to What's Hot on NCCU Audionet.